Hello world! This video is to teach you how to use calculator to find some statistical figures in a very efficient way. Okay, uh, however, in the book, it teaches you how to use uh, this calculator. However, it is not up to date, so please throw it away. Please stick to this new model, which is FX50 FX2. Okay, so uh, in this chapter, we are talking about finding some mean, um, standard deviation. Um, so let's look at example number one. If we really find, uh, want to find uh, the standard deviation, uh, perhaps we have to work out uh, the mean first and then 10 minus mean square, 2 minus mean square, 8 minus mean square. Well, it is not quite efficient. However, in the exam, uh, normally we just need to give the answer directly. Okay, so how to use calculator to get this figure very fast way? First of all, Oh, you have to know that in a the calculator there is the step mode, which is given by mode and then 4. Uh, actually, you do not need to use arrow later on, uh, just mode 4, and then you get SD, which is about statistical mode. Okay, 4. Okay, now you enter in the, uh, you've entered the statistical mode. Um, so first of all, I would uh, suggest you to do one very important thing, is shift 9, 1 which is clear all the data first because uh, you don't know whether uh, there's some stored data in the calculator already so first of all clear all the data having this shift 91 and then exe all the data will be clear okay just one reminder uh, i know some people would like to use shift 93 so please be very careful do not use shift 93 otherwise all your programs will be gone okay so also don't do this to your uh, very uh, to your friends as well okay so after you do shift 91 every time clear all the stat and then you can now start um, enter all the data into the calculator so how to enter the data in this mode only uh, you can do it very easily by 10 first data and then m plus now oh, you see line equals to one okay just uh, leave it because you have already entered 10 into as your first data okay and then 2 m plus 8 m plus 7 m plus 5 m plus 1 m plus 9 m plus okay so now you have already entered all the seven datum and then suppose i want to find um the mean it would be very nice uh, just to know that uh, what the symbol is it would be fine shift 2 you will see all the figures already here x bar which means mean okay so just press 1 here and then you see you get the mean so mean is 6 for sd shift 2 this sigma x means uh, sd uh, standard deviation okay so standard deviation would be equals to three point um two one something okay and this is your answer already so most of the cases uh, you just need to give the answers directly okay uh, if you look um discover into shift two and then the arrow here you also see min and max okay in case you want to know uh in a non-ordered list um, perhaps you can also use this min x and you get oh the min is one okay but normally you do not need that okay so uh here i would like to show you example two as well uh, for example two um this is quite similar to the case uh, because um, you see the data but this time you see the frequency what does it mean it means that the data actually is four 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 and then five 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 Five, five, five. Okay, if I want to enter this datum, do I need to press 4m plus 4m plus 1 plus? Oh no, that is not quite efficient. Okay, uh, I would like to introduce you this way to enter uh, data with more than one frequency. You can use this way, the following way. Okay, uh, first of all, of course, uh, clear stat, shift 9 1. Remember, this is a very important habit. Um, now, uh, Four, there are twenty altogether. Then we can enter four shift, uh, which is give you semicolon. Remember, this must be semicolon um, twenty, and then m plus. 
Now you have already entered twenty fours. Okay, and then five shift comma will give you colon twenty three ampers. Now do not press exe, just press ampers. Okay, and then uh, six semicolon eighteen seven semicolon five means five sevens ampers. Okay, now. Uh, you have already entered all data. Uh, how to check that you have already entered all data? Actually, you can see shift one. There is n here. It means number of data. Three, sixty-six. Uh, actually, this is the all total uh, number of data. Sixty-six. Okay, you have already entered all data. And now, uh, if you want to find the mean and standard deviation, uh, you can just press this shift to one. 5.12 something. Uh, if you want the fraction form, you can also turn it back. Okay, fraction form. And SD 0 0.9230. Okay, this is already uh, how you work out everything. I uh, just remind you every time uh, Shift 91 uh, before you use, um, before you enter your data. Okay, and finally, um, I would like to talk something more advanced. Uh, suppose uh, you just, uh, but some people uh, just need to just ignore this. Okay, but if you want to know something advanced, you can listen. Uh, suppose um, sometimes you <clears throat> misenter one data. Suppose it should be six. Uh, but you do not want to re-enter everything again. Uh, I already cleared this. That okay. Anyway, I I press again. Four twenty. And then uh, five twenty three six eighteen seven five. Okay, I have entered all the data. However, if I've discovered that I've misentered one of the data only, but I don't want to re-enter everything, uh, you can use arrow up arrow. You can check that uh, up arrow, down arrow, you see that every data you enter are shown here. Well, suppose I want to change the frequency from 5 to 6, then I can check the frequency 4, and then here I enter 6, EXE, then I already successfully changed the, the 5 to 6. Okay, you can check that, shift 1, 3, it's no longer 66, but 67 data. Okay, so you can change it by using this way. Oh, well, suppose uh, it's not 6, um, I miss enter, but it should be 6.5. That I can also use the same way by arrow, 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 arrow. Okay, up to 6 here, and that I put 6.5 exe. I successfully changed 6 to 6.5. Okay, and then you can check that uh, the mean is also different from the original one. Okay, so this is advanced version. So um, if you are not safe, of course, you can clear the stat and then start from everything from the beginning. Okay, that is uh, how we use the calculator for finding out some statistical figures. So, wish you enjoy.